All right, I got a lot of requests for this. Everybody talking about traditional moonshine. So let's do it. Let's make some traditional moonshine all the way. Well, 99% of the way. All right, we're gonna use this 50 pound bag of cracked corn with some water and no sugar on this one because we're gonna let it make its own sugar. So we can have traditional as can be good old, good old moonshine. So, like always, give a like and a follow, and let's do this. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I got the five-gallon bucket almost to the top, about four inches from the top. I'm going to fill it with hot water so I can make this easier to work with, get all those starches I want out. All right, I got 120-degree water in here. I'm going to move it around a little, let it get working some. Add some more if I need to to keep it totally saturated. So by this evening, tonight it'll be nice and soft. And yes, that is a rooster in the background going off. We in the country. And there's a little kitten. And once it's soft, we'll make it into some mash. All right, now that the corn has been soaking for about 12 hours, it's nice and soft to where I can put it in a blender and puree it so I can get every bit of enzymes, cornstarch, and fermentable sugars I can out of it and then after that I'm just going to slowly fill this up with about 25 pounds 14 pound barrel let's get it all right everything's blended up now we're going to top the barrel off with some scalding hot 200 225 degree water then it's going to steep for a few hours then we're going to add our amylase because we're not using sugar and when it cools we'll add our beta amylase and then some yeast and it'll sit let's go to the next step all right i got it temped up to 155 just threw in my alpha amylase now we're going to let it sit until it drops down to about 80 to 90. we'll do our glucose amylase which is this one right here which will break down those sugar molecules even more add in some yeast nutrients and after that put a bunch of daddy distillers in it it's just regular yeast but we should get about 18 percent alcohol by volume we have 14 gallon fermenter so should get a nice run off this one but since we're not using turbo, we're going to have to wait a week or two instead of a couple days. But you can see it's piping. All right. Follow, like and follow for the next part. All right. Our corn mash is getting close to temp to where it's going to be time to pitch the yeast and the beta amylase. So right now we're going to add in some yeast nutrients so it's got time to soak in and mix in with everything. I've already diluted it, comes in a crystal form, measured it out, add it in, and then give it a good mix. What I'm doing right now is cleaning the mash up right before I pitch the yeast and the beta amylase. Alright, I got the beta amylase and time to throw it in and then we'll wait and throw the yeast. Always give it a good mix finally time to pitch some yeast and it goes now we just let it ferment all right we can already see it starting to want to start rolling i pitched the yeast probably 45 minutes ago and you can see these right here it's coming up from the bottom it means that we took that corn, we added our enzymes, and we turned those starches into fermentable sugars so we can turn those sugars into alcohol. So we made some liquor without adding any corn. It's pretty much as traditional as you're going to get these days without taking your corn and sprouting it in a stream somewhere. It's going to be some good liquor. It smells good too. Good old white lightning. What people will call true white lightning. <laughs>